In another video, we looked at how to take an image straight out of a camera, which is typically very, very large and far too unwieldy to, to place on a web page, and resize that image so that it was precisely the right size for whichever space we might happen to have available on our website. In my case, we worked out, using this tool, that we had about 484 pixels of width to play with. Once we knew that, we resized the camera image to be exactly 484 pixels wide. But what about if you wanted to do something quite similar, i.e. bring the size of the picture down, but also crop out the section of the picture that you really wanted, perhaps in this case ignoring the garden area in the background? That's what we're going to cover in this tutorial. Now we're going to demonstrate how to crop and resize an image at the same time. It'd be great if we could get the image of the dogs, but without perhaps all the garden area in the background, but still achieve an image that is 484 pixels wide, so that it fits nicely on our web page. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing to do is to decide whether you want to crop a landscape shape, i.e. the same kind of shape that we've got in the original image, which is wider than it is tall, or a portrait shape, which would be something like that shape, something that is taller than it is wide. You need to decide which of those you want to do, and I think, because I'd like to get this rock that they're sitting on, this rock bench, in as well, I'm going to leave it as a landscape crop. So you select the crop tool by choosing this tool here, which looks like a scalpel or a craft knife, and that changes all the options that appear underneath. I want to crop an area that is landscape, and if you click on these, it changes the aspect ratio between portrait and landscape. So leave it at landscape and simply go over to the image and crop the area that you'd like. That's the area that I want to crop. And I just hit enter and that's the cropped image. But having cropped it, if you look up here, you can see that its resulting image dimensions are 922 pixels by 600, which is much larger than the 484 that I actually want. So, all we have to do is do as we did in the previous video, and that is now to make this a resized image. So to achieve that, just click onto the Rectangle Select tool, and then say Image, Scale Image, and put in 484 here. Click into the height box in order to calculate the correct height for that particular ratio and then click on scale. And now I have my properly sized image. When we save it we also want to make sure that the image isn't too high in quality so that it's too heavy for the web page. So we say file, save as, as usual, and we'll save this as Rocco and Roma balance as I've typed here. And when I click on the save button we can move the quality to about, I don't know, 29 or so K and save that. And now I've got an image that is the right size for my web page. I'll now go and put that in and show you what it looks like. As I explained in the previous video, um, I use Amazon S3 as my image hosting service because I don't believe in uploading images to my WordPress blog directly. So I'm just copying over the new image that I've just cropped and resized onto my Amazon S3 account and then I'm setting it so that it's readable by everyone. And then I'm just getting the URL for it. Right, now that I've done that I can return to my blog and put the picture that I've just cropped and resized underneath the one that I did previously. So I'll do that by logging in and then going to that post and editing it. And just for comparison purposes I'm just going to put the image underneath the previous image. Okay. So the first one was the resized image and this is the cropped and resized image. So if I do an update and then view the post, you can see that we've now got two images. One is of the whole garden and this one is actually 
of less of the garden and more of the dogs that's been cropped. But they're both exactly the same dimension. Okay, hope that helped.